Okay. So today we are going to continue our Bible studies from where we left off, uh, which is in Genesis chapter 15 by God's grace. And it's a happy new year. And happy new year, by the way. <laughs> yes, the happy new year. We are starting the new year with praises. We are starting the new year with testimony. And we are starting the new year with a lot of blessings. So it's that's how our theme of this year is going to go. It's going to be our year of turn around. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so we are Genesis chapter uh, 15. Bona a tutti. E grazie di averci seguito ancora questa domenica. Siamo in Genesi, capitolo 15. Stiamo facendo i nostri studi della Bibbia. E uh, abbiamo studiato che Abramo ha, ha avuto un, uh, un patto con Dio e ha portato degli animali per sacrificare. Durante quel periodo lì ehm, ha tagliato gli animali in due, però gli uccelli no e uh, ha aspettato che Dio venisse. Quello che è successo dopo, leggiamo versetto 13 e 14. We are going to read 13 and 14. Then he said, Genesis chapter 15, verse 13 and 14. Then he said to Abraham, Know certainly that your descendants will be strangers in a land that is not theirs and will serve them, and they will afflict them 400 years. And also a nation who they will serve will judge, I will judge. Afterwards, they shall come out with great possessions. So we learned last week that God have decided that he will judge whoever has been assigned in our life uh, to discipline us, to help us, to appreciate what he has given us. Amen. And then we will jump. Quindi abbiamo imparato in versetto 13, 14. Qualcuno mi può leggere la Bibbia italiana? Genesi capitolo 15, versetto 13 e 14. 13 e 14. Allora, il Signore disse ad Abramo, sappi per certo che i tuoi discendenti ti moriranno come stranieri in un paese che non sarà loro, saranno fatti schiavi e saranno oppressi per 400 anni. Ma io giudicherò la nazione di cui saranno stati servi e dopo questo se ne partiranno con grandi ricchezze. Quindi abbiamo imparato che chiunque ehm, sarà utilizzato per renderci per darci un'esperienza una, una, una di servitù, quella nazione o quella persona sarà aggiudicata. Quindi Dio, anche se lui ci mette in situazioni che eh, dobbiamo imparare l'umiltà, le persone che ci maltrattano durante quel periodo, lui giudicherà quelle persone. Quindi non ti preoccupare, non essere amaro dentro, perché lì avrà... Eh, avrà lungo il giudizio su di loro. Amen. We are going to jump and we are going to continue where we left off verse, verse 17. Quindi continueremo dove siamo arrivati a versetto eh, 17. Versetto 17. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. I have the light reflecting on the screen. Sorry, I think I have to just change the position. Genesis chapter 15. Genesis chapter 15, verse 17. And it came to pass when the sun went down and it was dark, that behold, there appeared a smoking oven and a burning torch that passed between two pieces. Between those pieces. On verse 18, on the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, to your descendants, I have given this land from the river of Egypt to the great river, the river Euphrates, the 
Kenites, the Kenizzites, the Cadmonites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Rephraim, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Jagash, the Jagashites, and <laughs> the Jebusites. So when he went through the period of darkness and God gave him his revelation, the next thing happened was that a, a smoking oven appeared and a burning torch that passed be, it passed between the two animals he had divided. And then God told him exactly the um, the map of how his descendants are going to possess the land. Versetto diciassette fino alla fine, se qualcuno me la può leggere per favore. Diciassette. Or come il sole fu tramontato e venne la notte scura. Ecco una fornace fumante e una fiamma di fuoco passare in mezzo ai due animali divisi. In questo giorno il Signore fece un patto con Abramo, dicendo Io do alla tua discendenza questo paese, dal fiume d'Egitto al fiume Eufrate, i Cinei, i Cinizei, i Camodei, gli Titi, i Ferizei, i Rifai, gli Amorei, i Chenenei, i Ghirisei e i Gebusei. Quindi, quando è, è passato la eh, eh, settimana scorsa, abbiamo imparato che quando facciamo dei sacrifici a Dio, i risultati di cui noi stiamo sperando non vengono subito. Ciò che capita è che ci sarà degli orrori e delle grandi eh, oscurità, ma dopodiché avremo una rivelazione con cui dopo ci sarà della, della fiamma che verrà a bruciare, cioè a testare ciò che hai dato a Dio. E dopo aver passato questo test, oppure questa prova, e la prova è stata bruciata, è stata apprezzata da Dio, lui ti darà la conferma di quello di cui ha preso il fatto con te. In questo, in, questo eh, in questo capitolo particolarmente lui ha detto che gli avrà dato tutto questo territorio, quindi gli ha dato la mappa di, del, eh, dei posti in cui lui sarà eh, eh, possessore. So he learned that it is very important that even after we have given our sacrifices to God and we have eh, presented ourselves, we shouldn't get discouraged at all. Why? Because when the sacrifice is placed, the sacrifice will be burnt, which means if you go through a, a period of trial, a period of test, and once you go through that period of test and you come out victorious, your possession you will receive in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. So, Mother, please, do you have anything for us in this um, aspect? Please, God. We, we are really learning some deep things about God. The plans of God may be quite very different from what we are making. We thank Jesus for teaching us to pray and to say, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God has a will and a plan, and he has been choosing us to do those will and plan. So this morning, we are learning that as much as Abraham desired to possess the possession and just live that life, God's plan was that he's going to train the entire generation which he is choosing. That's very powerful. So write it down. God will want to train your whole household, not you alone. So let the father and the mother bring the children to the house of God. Don't come by yourself alone and leave them. Because for God to bless Abraham, God's blessings are always generational. He 
releases his blessing upon a generation. God will bless your children. Say amen to that. Amen. amen. The child that you have given birth to is not just ordinary child. Whether you paid dowry for that child before the child was born, this child is very important to God. And God is a God of generations. Mm -hmm. And so his blessing, he did not limit it to Abraham alone. He said to Abraham, I am going to set up the entire generation to learn of me, to be trained of me. And he visited the covenant with fire. God has two kinds of fire. We have the holy fire, which is the fire dispatched in Acts chapter 2, verse 4, the Bible said the, the disciples waited and the Holy Spirit came in a form of fire, in the shape of a tongue upon their heads. Then if we look at Deuteronomy uh, 4.24, the Bible says our God is a consuming fire. So he has two fire, one to consume and to destroy the activities of Satan. And because he, God, also made Satan a firebrand, God has made us firebrands so that we will consume the works of the enemy. Amen. 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 And so over here, Jehovah, doing covenant, released his fire upon the agreement. So I need us to understand that to any kind of relationship, you intend to start with God Almighty today. Your relationship will go to fire. The fire visited the covenant. The Bible said darkness fell on Abraham and all that he has presented to God. And suddenly, like a touch of flaming fire, it consumed the covenant. We need to always lay our foundations, that is, relationship foundations, church foundations, all based on the fact that when fire comes, we can endure. For example, you are in a church. Oh, I love the church. This is my church. I love the church. That's not all you should be doing. You should also understand that love, covenant, will process through what? Fire. So when the fire time comes, you must be enduring. You must be bearing. You must be patient. You must know that your love will go through fire. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. I like to appreciate weddings so very much but when everything is over i like to call the couple back to my office and sit them down and tell them you have done theories give yourself 10 years you will go through practicals of what you have said in the altar i love you i love you and like i say some people even go on to say i love you more than jesus christ so yeah no problem there is going to be a process fire away it's not from the devil from god himself to test that relationship and many people flock off some women will disappoint their partner drop them and go and they don't get anywhere anyway some men will disappoint their wife drop them and go look at god being in love with abraham Sending this love into a process of fire. 400 years in hard, rigor, affliction, processing us. Hmm? Oh, I love my church. Oh, I love to drum. The very drums you are sitting down behind, that's where your test will come from. Somebody can just come and start talking. You don't even know how to do that. You don't know what you are doing. What are you going to do? You're going to get angry and leave the church? Huh? You like to praise God. What you are doing for God, that is where Satan will come and keep fire there. So we should learn that when we are in love, are you all listening to me? Yes, yes ma'am. If your lover is not here, 
let your lover hear me. Go play it again. When we say we are in love, one, with God, God will try us. And it's just a test. Eh? When it's over, it's over. You will even wonder, <laughs> is that all? You will be laughing at yourself. Now, after the test of your love with God, your love with people, be careful how when you make friends and say, ah, my sister, I love you. Then we, we will say, I love you to the moon and back. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay. Satan had it. <laughs> and that thing you are saying, he's going to try you. Always remember that love will go through what? Fire. Can you remember that? Yes, ma'am. Eh? Yes, ma Covenant will go through what? Fire. 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 You are not answering. <laughs> love will go through what? Fire. Fire. Covenant will go through what? Fire. Fire. So when all the gist is over, be strong. There is a scripture reading in my heart. I believe that uh, it's a scripture we learned when we were younger. And it helped, Daddy and I, it helped us to walk in this love. Having done all stand, I think we need to look at that scripture. Let's go to Ephesians. Everyone must start this year with this scripture because it will be very disheartening for you to, to lose loved ones because you didn't know that a test will come. You cannot, you cannot drop good friends. You cannot drop good marriages just because you don't know that there's a test. And then I'm even talking about churches, pastors, assistant pastors, ministers, people leave their church. Some of them will put in resignation letter and go. At the hour of test, they think, oh, this is too much, I must resign. You may go, but the world is round. So the person that laid hands on you and declared you blessed, if you are angry, keep the anger a while and pray and come back. But drop it, go. Hey, I don't care. Hey, I, I don't want I have to have anything to do with this, all these things. Eh? They are they call childish behavior. Do you know what will happen in the next 20 years? Do you know what will happen in the next 10 years? Do you know what will happen in the next one hour, one minute? So allow yourself to learn how to process love. Love goes through fire. Have it done all to stand. Let's look at Ephesians chapter 6. We welcome all of you back to the class. I know that some of you have just arrived. We were in Genesis eh uh, 15 okay, in capitolo 15. La mamma ci sta imparando che ci sta insegnando che ci sono il no, la nostra volontà così sono in c'è abbiamo la nostra volontà e i nostri piani, però Dio ha sempre Dio ha sempre il suo agenda. Quando lui ci benedice, il nostro, eh, la benedizione di Dio è per tutta la generazione, quindi non è solo per te come un individuo. Eh, quindi è importante capire che Dio eh, insegnerà e eh, coltiverà tutta la famiglia ad imparare e, eh, e i suoi modi. È importante. E in più dobbiamo anche capire che c'è sempre un periodo di fuoco. Ci sono due tipi di fuoco che Dio di solito usa. Il primo tipo di fuoco lo troviamo in Atti capitolo 2, versetto 4, che ehm, la Bibbia ci fa eh, vedere che durante qua, eh, il periodo in cui gli apostoli erano dentro la camera e pregavano, eh, lo Spirito Santo è sceso come un fuoco in una, una forma di una lingua sulla loro testa e quello è il fuoco santo poi c'è l'altro tipo di fuoco il fuoco consumatore e questo fuoco è per i nostri nemici per Satana e per il diavolo e per tutti i suoi agenti non per essere umani non per noi siccome Dio ha creato Satana come un, un, un essere di fuoco anche noi siamo stati creati come esseri di fuoco, quindi quando noi invochiamo il fuoco di Dio, 
diventiamo anche noi delle esseri di fuoco. Dobbiamo anche capire che il fuoco è importantissimo perché tutte le nostre relazioni che abbiamo, l'amore, il, ehm, il patto e le promesse che noi prendiamo o facciamo, passano dentro un periodo di fuoco e quindi è importante capire che non dobbiamo essere offesi, non dobbiamo eh, abbandonare relazioni e dire che non ce ne freghiamo niente perché adesso siamo offesi perché la persona di cui avevamo fiducia in o avevamo dei piani ci ha delusi durante quel periodo di fuoco. Ci sarà sempre un momento di prova, un momento di difficile, momenti difficili, però non dobbiamo scoraggiarci e non dobbiamo avere dei comportamenti sbagliati, è molto importante. Amen. Amen. Hello. God is good. Okay, so here we are. There is a scripture. We are going to start the year with this scripture and it's going to help us. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13. You remember, I always told you that that 13 number is a code. And God has given us scriptures to counter attack every power of witchcraft. And so, even though we know that number 13 is a spiritual code of witchcraft, it's a coping number. It doesn't mean anything if you have the quotation to counter attack it. Amen. Amen. So don't be afraid. In case somebody is born in the, the date 13, it doesn't mean anything. You just have to apply the scriptures, put in the word of God. Now, let's read Ephesians 6, 13. Adesso stiamo per leggere Efesini, capitolo 6, versetto 13. Therefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and have it done all to stand. He is reading. Amen. Didn't read it from him. Huh? So let him read so that people can participate. complete armor that you may be able to resist and stand your grounds. Mm. Say with me, I stand my grounds. I stand my grounds. Because my covenant, because my covenant is with Jehovah. Is with Jehovah. Through Christ Jesus. True Christ Jesus. I resist. I, I resist, resist the devil. Devil. You see? He said resist the devil and stand your ground on the day of evil. There will be evil days. So God is making covenant with Abraham and educating him. That boy, you're going to have evil days. This is God teaching you how this world functions. So speak to your children. Speak to your spouse. Darling, there may be evil days. How are we going to do it? The answer is stand. Mm. Stand on the covenant of love. I one of the things that he taught me the early days when we married, because I come from a family that is so militant, of course. And he comes from a family that is so mild. When they are talking, you don't hear. So it is complete two different kinds of persons. And my nature was very quiet. Then I started developing to be stronger because I have to be strong to meet God's people. But in the midst of it, when we have to talk, and I'm going to raise my voice, you say, you can't, we don't, we don't raise voice as husband and wife. You have to discuss with me. Even if what you are what I'm saying, you don't like it. You keep your emotions under control. You don't get angry, hang up phone, get angry, bang doors, all those things. Love will 
let you know that you're gonna go through this and so you must stand and do what resist so what was israel doing 400 years in egypt they were resisting the oppression of satan he's happy with me Happy. Mm -hmm. They were resisting. They were resisting. They what? Oppression. So Satan will oppress you, resisting. He will oppress relationship, resisting. He will intrude into love domains. Resisting. Let love tell you back. This is a brother I love. This is a sister I love. This argument we did over rice and steel. It should not go on till the next day. Then you do what? Freeze it. Take charge of situation. You argued about a tenant or you argued about somebody, a third person in a room or you argued about whatever the argument is. A husband and wife fought some years ago over toothpaste. I don't know if I've told you this story before. The man says, pump the toothpaste from the bottom. The woman will pump from the top. And in our days, the toothpaste was done with metal. Here, now they are using plastic. So with the metal, when you pump like that, the thing will kind of blow. Toothpaste. Every morning, darling, I told you don't come this thing this way. The other one said, hey, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Then, finally, fight went on to the two of them decided, we are, we are, we can't marry again. What is the, we are not compatible. Mm -hmm. hey, after two years, we are not compatible. We are not compatible. When I took my time to sit down to know the root cause of it is toothpaste, Pumping toothpaste on toothbrush. You want to walk with God. You want a flamboyant wedding. You want a happy church. You want to have a good mother. But you don't want to be corrected. You can't endure your mother shouting on you. Hey, how are you going to live this life? What is God doing to Israel? Do you know how to do bricks without straw? Patrick, to do bricks without straw. I mean, how, how cruel can Pharaoh be? You have employed a person. Look at where you work. You are employed to do a work. Where uh, my son uh, is a great worker. I'm so proud of him. They, pre they prepare boats, you know luxury boats and all that. Then, they will give you metal. They will even give you metal. Go and look for metal and look for all the mortar and everything and create a, a, a boat. Will you curse God and die? What will you do? Having done all to stand. You need to recite this quotation with me. I need to help you. Eh? So when I say, say after me, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God. You say it. Wherefore take unto the whole armor of God. That you may be able to withstand in evil day. That you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all. And having done all. Stand. Stand. Can I explain it? Having done all, what is all? Your pastor told you fast for three days and you fasted. Your pastor told you read the Bible every day and you did. Your pastor told you even the